rescue them. So these, so those so guys, who's over there right now? So th they work as guides. So as guides. We just monitoring the situation here. Like yeah. you see when Border Patrol National Guard. Those are guides right there? Yes. Guides for whom? Guides for the smugglers. Smugglers. The ones that the, oh my the, goodness. The so so she's like a, just crossing underage. right here. Oh my yeah. goodness. Can I talk to them? We can try. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. She's 12 years old. She's What's, from Honduras. Can I say hello to her? I, I, I'm Vivek. Good to meet you. Um, that's her father? That's her father. And so they were swimming, you were swimming across? Yes, they were swimming across and they were rescued by Border Patrol. How are, how are you doing? She's, uh, she's feeling... ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Tienes fiebre? Frío. I'm a little bit cold, but she's a little bit cold. That, I'm, I'm fine. You, like, why? why? she came over. Yeah, ¿por qué? Él está preguntando por qué decidiste venir a Estados Unidos. For a better future. So hmm. that's the reason why I came over here to the United States, for a better future. And, and does she have a family? Are they on the father? So my mom uh, stayed behind in Honduras taking care of her mom, oh. her grandmother. So it's only her father and herself that came. This is the normal process. So he seems he seems unwell. Correct. Yeah. So right now the the, the current. So she said she you asked her about her why why she came over. She's like for a better better life. She seemed very earnest when she was speaking to you. Correct. And that's and her the father. I've done uh, hundreds seems of like interviews. Seems like he's struggling. He was, he was trying to swim across and yeah. then they recovered him. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. So that's, that's How regular is that in terms of what you see here? Every day, all day. It's sad to see. It is. Um, I've witnessed uh, drownings. Um, a lot of migrants. He's I, not I doing well. Pregnant women swimming, crossing. Yes. Doesn't seem particularly humane. My reaction is it's sad to see this young girl coming here saying she's 12 years old. I, I don't speak Spanish fluently, but a friend here was telling me she was saying, we, I asked him to ask her why she came. She didn't hesitate for a beat. She said it is for a better life. To your, to your 12 year old say that, but to say that she's still shivering from the cold, her father going through what appears to be some kind of treatment behind there after having gone through shock here. Say what you will about the system. That is not humane to anybody. It's not humane to the people who are illegally crossing. It's not humane to the people who are waiting, including your wife, as I understand it, on the other side, waiting to come legally. That's unfair to her. And it's wrong what they're doing to the people who are crossing illegally this way too. And so I'm here to, to learn and really absorb what's happening here on the ground. But that was, for me, a little jarring to see a 12-year-old young girl come in with her father, now look at her just taking care of him as he's getting medical care, left her mother behind, but coming here for a better life, and us calling this somehow a humane system that we're handling people who are drowning as they swim over. It's not right for anybody.